Hello, welcome to Sylvie Tarot. So this particular reading is going to be for souls in separation, right? Those that are not connecting at this time or the connection may be minimal. And you would like to know what they're thinking about. Like you would like to know what's on their mind. What are they feeling at this time? Now that we're not really connecting the way that we used to. What do you feel? What do you think? Okay. So let's get some insight and see what's really going on here. Okay. So what are the messages here? And if, of course, you have some sort of specific question, you want to know some sort of detail about your person or specifically about how your person feels, you may book a personal reading, okay? Because this is a collective vibe. What's going on at this time in separation? Wow. Our relationship was different. It was special to me. And now I'm starting to understand that. Our relationship was different. I feel like someone here, they're in like comparison mode, right? They're comparing, right? They're, they're comparing their relationship with you, with now their interactions with other people. They're starting to notice that their needs and wants were way more important at the time. So someone here is realizing, like, I was actually putting other things in front of this relationship or pri prioritizing other things before us here. And I'm starting to notice possibly I should have never did that or maybe that wasn't the best way of going about things in this connection here. Okay, and look at this here. Someone is saying, I've been using other connections to help me mask my feelings for you. So someone here, it seems like they're in the, they're, it's like they're in the process of trying to not face what they're really feeling. So everything that I feel, everything that I desire, everything that I think about, I try to distract myself and I try to not think about it. I try not to think about it because I know I made a mistake and I know thinking about it is going to only make me feel like now I need to fix it or it's going to bring me into that road of guilt here. And I don't know if I'm ready for that or I don't know if I'm ready for that vibration. Someone here is admitting, obviously. Okay, so I feel like this person is coming in and saying, you definitely crossed my mind, but I play a very big part in terms of trying to block out thoughts trying to block out um emotions you know and you know kudos to that person that's doing that because i know blocking out emotions um especially um especially when you care about someone a lot it's very difficult to do so it's not easy right and i know someone you know some of you may think like it's easy or this person's so good at it it's not easy it's not an easy thing to do because what ends up happening is the more you start to connect with what you don't want or what you don't want to feel or what doesn't feel good, you start to sit back and wonder like, wow, I really, I really messed up. Okay. What else is going on here during this separation? What's that Selena song? Late at night something. Okay. Someone, it, it, it seems like there could have been some sort of differences that you two had, right? Some sort of, I see this this way, you see this this way type of vibration at some point, right? I'm always there for you. You're not there for me. I always open up. You don't open up. Something here happened back here. And I feel like someone, they're trying so hard to erase those thoughts here. Maybe this person did something that they're possibly very shameful for. Maybe they did something that they know that hurt, stood you up, said something, hurt you. Or even if it was you. It's like I'm trying to delete everything out of my mind. I'm trying to delete everything or I tried to delete everything that reminded me of you here. OK, but now we have this future like energy, this present energy here. It's like late at night. I think about you. I feel you. I miss you. I desire you here. 
with this don't lose hope we'll look at that later but i feel like again someone here they're starting to really wonder like did you move forward okay did you let me go here like what what's going on and i feel like someone here possibly they started trying to trying to connect with someone new and i feel like possibly this person was let go by someone or someone let someone go here someone here is starting to feel something deeply and possibly for some of you I feel like someone here, it's like maybe they started connecting with someone new and someone here decided to walk away from them or someone here decided to end things or maybe ghost them. I feel like someone here possibly was ghosted by someone new. I'm also feeling like when it came to you and this person, like the passion is so beautiful between the two of you here. Tell me a little bit more about the obstacles that came about here. What are the obstacles or what were the obstacles in this connection, please? A little bit more with the obstacles. Thank you. Oh. A little bit more with the obstacles. One more. Fighting it here. Someone here just couldn't accept that they were falling in love. Wow. I kept on fighting it. I kept on fighting it. I would fight it. I would look at you in the morning. Some of you, you know. But I don't know what was happening in the morning, but I feel like some of you, this person would look at you in the morning. This person would look at your photos in the morning. This person would reminisce about things. This person would think about how deep this connection is, how powerful it is, the power that you have in this connection, the power this connection has over them. And I feel like someone here decided to put in some sort of resistance. This could be a fire energy or someone that has like a lot of fire in their chart is what I'm getting a lot of fire and air I'm getting air and fire here um but one of the things I'm getting is this person it's like I kept on trying to fight it I kept on trying to resist this because I know that it would put me in a vulnerable state so I decided to put work first I decided to put my needs first what I wanted here someone here it's like they became slightly selfish or they became slightly um they, they didn't want to have accountability for some of the things that they would do, some of the things that they would possibly say, or some of their inaction is what I'm trying to say here, okay? But again, we have someone here thinking a lot. Uh, not, I don't really see much action, all right? Because I feel like this person is in like this fetal-like energy. So again, it just reminds me of a thinking process, right? Like I'm thinking about how I'm constantly fighting something. It says, you left every part of me untouched. Every part of me untouched. I realize now who you are. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker, the weaker I seem to be here. For some of you, if this is you, again, if you find yourself in a place where it's like, I'm the one, Sylvie, I'm the one uh, that's actually trying to fight this off and I'm still holding on to this, um, definitely check out my Suming Lovey channel on YouTube, all right, where letting and releasing control and releasing things um it's a manifestation and it allows your person to come back flawlessly effortlessly okay for those that have heard that manifestation again it's very beneficial because i feel like what's happening here is someone is going against the the grind of things here not allowing things to flow not allowing themselves to feel the truth okay but i do feel like in due time here someone here is going to just you know again you're going to just have to tap in or tap out again of from fighting but i feel like this is your person i know for some of you it's you but i do feel like this is your person here coming in and saying this is still on my spirit this is still on my soul here okay let's get a little bit more let's get a little bit more let's get a little bit more for this connection during this moment of separation this moment of separation I feel lost without you someone here it's like because because they're also putting their head over their heart at this time we do have a heart fog okay we do have a heart fog energy here where someone it, they're saying like there's a lot of clutter in my mind there's a lot going on i start to mix these emotions with fear and i start to make um you know a whole recipe and now i'm only left with grief and i'm only left lost here so i feel like for some of you as well in this connection because there is so many mixed signals and you're not able to really understand 
what this person really wants and how they truly feel because there's a lot of blocked emotions you're also feeling like you know maybe i should just give up on this or maybe i should just completely release this because this is someone here that's saying again i'm putting myself first or maybe the last thing that they've said is what you're holding on to or some of the things that they've said through text message or messaging whatever you're still holding on to that as if it's the truth but i feel like it's not I feel like this is someone here that's transiting, you know, transitioning through a lot of emotions. And in the extended, we'll take a look at that here. So let's dig a little bit more. I want to see how this person is. I want to see how this person is feeling. I want to see how this person is feeling in the next four to six weeks here. Okay. Let's dig a little bit more and see how this person is feeling and what we could expect moving forward. Because Spirit is saying don't lose hope. Don't lose hope with this person or don't lose hope with a new person. Okay, but let's see here what's going on. Next four to six weeks here. And the outcome, please. Okay, make sure you see this here. Bottom of the deck is you got away here. So someone here is feeling it bad. Someone here is feeling like someone here got away or is getting away here. So in the extended, we'll dig a little bit deeper. We'll see what spirit has for us here and we'll dive in. If you are interested, the link is below, of course. All right. And if this resonates, please do like, share and subscribe. I will talk to you later. I love you. Here towards this connection. Okay, I'm scared because I've never ever felt this way before. I've never felt this way before. I've never connected with a twin flame before. I've never connected with a soulmate before. And it scares me. But one thing that I do know is 